So today I'm gonna make a rough video about my uh, settings with um, my lab Equinox uh, 800. I have um, I had a lot of um, metal detectors, not as many as I wish, <laughs> but um, I had the O6 B in full. I had uh, T2, I had uh, Garrett, I had um, had a bunch of them. Uh, my only love, for sure, it's my lab. I pulled the most actually with it, and um, uh, I started with um, Xterra 705, loads of gold, um, silver, loads of silver, loads of silver. Uh, I haven't digged so much silver with the uh, Deus XP uh, as much as I did with 705 and since the Equinox uh, 800 came out I knew I wanted because I kind of understand the electronics behind it um, I have a bachelor degree in um, computer science nothing to brag about it so it's just an idea and I understood what actually the software does uh, what means actually like the multi frequency and what's the difference between using just one frequency and you know combining like more than one and getting the results out of it so from the beginning I wanted like to, to get the, the Equinox I had the chance to work like about like six, uh, three four months with the 600 and um, then I saw got the grip on the on the 800 so i decided to actually to buy the 800 and this video will tell you like um why i did actually choose the 800 over the 600 a lot of people told me like um the 600 will do just fine in uk but nah it's not the, it's not the case in my opinion it's not the case i mean like you can you can easily easily um uh discriminate some 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 of the targets so it's not just like you're digging any everything you're digging wherever actually you want if you have the proper settings and another thing that i think it's worth mentioning is that until now for about like three months uh, i went to at least like 15 to 20 digs and until now it happened just like two times not to come back with a piece of silver let's say coins i don't even want to mention because coins i get like all the time but like silver coins all the time the most that i got it was uh i went to working in um in wells in cardiff and uh there i went bitch detecting off the coast a little bit further but yeah um one day in one day Obviously, that place was never been done before. I got 70 coins. <laughs> I mean, like, it was crazy. <laughs> 70 coins. I didn't even realize until I got home. But I got, like, 70 coins. And out of them, 17 were silver. From uh, one shilling to um, a six pence, three pence. Uh, awesome, awesome findings. Awesome findings. Um, I was speechless I was speechless I didn't realize because most of you like now like um, when you get coins off the beach most of them are green are covered in a lot of you know like rust or so um, so you kind of figure out by the uh, by the shape or by the weight but you know i didn't quite got so excited when i pulled them out because it could be something else well it was not the case uh 17 coins uh silver coins awesome finds and also i found like a really really nice medallion silver medallion uh, saint christopher i'm still uh cleaning them up right now <laughs> still seven left over but um yeah awesome awesome findings and um, 
it's always like it's always like this with these settings what what i love about these settings that i made is that well everything that it's a good target you can actually you know put it on the settings and the moment you hit it no matter what you have around that good target the target will come up will pop out or scream at you so eventually you know it will be like easier for you actually to, to dig good targets of course you need like some experience and you need to go out with it and understand like differences between lead silver a coin and so on so that helps a lot but in the same time it's easier to make a decision if you have like the proper settings for it depth it's another thing of course um but for me this works like a charm so to cut it cut it short actually um there are three things that i'm playing with it and obviously one of them is the volume uh, and i'm working on five five tones I don't like two tones. A lot of people I see they are using two tones, but that means mostly like good target, bad target. So for me, two tones is not enough. The reason being in UK, for example, like if you hate gold, if you if you're gonna hit like a piece of jewelry or a gold piece, right? Most most of the time with the Equinox, even a six hundred as well, six and eight hundred, the target will be somewhere between twelve and 13 like the the number like the vid so for example you hit that but obviously like that one is close to as well like aluminium or lead so sometimes you might hit let's say lead and you will have the same numbers as gold but always with lead is tricky because it doesn't keep the same number and it's gonna be close to this 12, 13, which is the gold. So I'm trying to discriminate now to take out the 12 and 13. We'll say like with in regards to 14 or maybe 11. So in my settings, 12 and 13 must pop out. And it's up to me like later on if I'll dig it or not. Uh, in the same time, for example, like uh, you're gonna have uh, hammies, like a lazy. And that can come up from like 14, 15, 16, up to 18. It depends of, obviously on the depth as well. But most of the time it's like that. Like, you know, you're gonna have like 15, 16, 14 sometimes. Um, so for me again like these numbers uh have to come come out to pop out so 800 gives me that opportunity like actually to discriminate between between targets and to put like whatever it's iron down and so on so volume is very important i'm working on these five tones to have the opportunity to discriminate between between targets so volume most of the time yeah, I keep it like 25 and I'm just playing with uh, with uh, headphones and I just like whatever it's convenient for me at that at that point. But that being said, another thing that obviously I'm using it's the target tone and the target pitch. Well, um, with the target tone, like everybody knows what it is, uh, I'm using five tones. And the target pitch, uh, pretty much it gives me like the, the pitch that I need to hear when I'm hitting like a, um, a good target or a bad target. So I use the target pitch um, to differentiate between possible targets, right? Um, uh, so I have like five target, target pitches that I use. Uh, one, it's whatever it is like ferrous metals, iron and so on. And usually I take that up to like, like one. So I don't hear nothing much, you know, like that squeeziness. And then uh, I have the, the second one, which will give me 
um, from like non ferrous sometimes ferrous as well, up to that uh, gold target that I set it up. And there you actually might get like Roman coins, you might get gold as well, but um, like um, depending on the depth, on the weight, and how many carats actually you hit. But for me, that's not like really, really important. And depends actually on the on the ground and the site that I'm gonna actually like uh, detect. Uh, so on 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 uh, the second tone, uh, second pitch, I will set it up on like ten. So it's not like metal, which is one, which is a very low pitch, but it's not the highest. So it will make me aware of it. I'm kind of trying then to understand upon the numbers and how actually the target it's how stable is the target you know like when you go like you go over it and then you change the angles let's say like 90 or 180 or so and if you have like a solid solid response from it well that means it's something good there but if it starts like wibbling like uh, with a pitch or with numbers or so well, most of the time people don't dig them, um, unless you might think that it's an artifact and it's it's actually like an ally or something like that, an ally or something like that. But the second one, which, like I said, uh, uh, you might hate gold or you know small coins or um, small small hammies that are depth it's like goes above like eight or so or um you might hate um uh bullets or uh lead bullets uh small musket balls i i usually put the pitch on uh on 10 so it's gonna make me aware of it but it's not my main target it's not something that i'm going for it and the third one actually it's the one that I'm setting up for the gold, which I already said is like 12, 13, the, the PDI numbers, like mostly. And that that goes like in, a, in, in the pitch will go like in 20s. So I will put it like in 20, I'm kind of like 20. Uh, that will pop out. Obviously, we'll have, you will have to dig a lot. Because uh, not every target that you get in that uh, in those numbers or so will be gold without a question. But never say never, so yeah, we'll go for it. And the fourth one is actually from usually from 15 uh, and up to 29. And that's where the goodies in UK are. I mean, like there, uh, over 20, 21, 22, right there, you have the coins. Uh, I don't even care which one, but most of them are there. And then you have um, you have the silver silver hammies, uh, which goes like 14, 15, uh, 16. Most of them are like on 16 and up, big ones and so on. 18 um, shillings as well, like it's in 20s. Um, um, six pence, you're gonna have it from 16 to 21, 22. Roman denarius silver is going to be over 25 or like in between 20 and 25 26 so these are my actually like my good targets again you hit something like that it has to be solid it will pop out but it has to be solid changing numbers is not a good sign even though I will advise like you know find the reason to dig not just, just like pass by oh this is not good this is not good this is not good well why are you there at the end of the day so from my point of view it's like just dig dig if something like that comes up just you know dig and then i had um from tw uh, from 30 and up uh it's the uh, the pitch i will i will set it up for like um 20 again or maybe even lower the reason being most of the, the the big irons are coming there as well like a big iron obviously is going to give you like a great signal loud signal and so on 
so for me, um, I will dig like, let's say, in that range, not over 95% of the targets are like big irons. Um, the problem is like when you have, um, let's say like a florin, like two shillings, or in US, for example, if you have like a Morgan dollar or so, pff, big one, it's going to show up like on, on high numbers, at least uh, with the soil that we have here in the UK. Not sure yet in uh, in US. But uh, it should be there because it's a big, big one. It's a big, huge coin, actually, if you ask me. <laughs> right? I have a few, like uh, 1800 or so, and pff, man, they are huge compared with whatever. It's in, um, in Europe, I would say, not even UK, in Europe. So, yeah, those those are are gonna are gonna show up on um, on thirty and up, and um, it would be nice to find one, but because of uh, of the iron that you might dig, it's quite hard actually to get one. It's kind of the same problem that you have with uh, with uh, the gold, right? You're not gonna hit a lot of it. You might hit it. But um, again, like depends on uh, your experience and how, um, uh, if and if you decide like actually to 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 dig them or not. So I keep them there on my book. Uh, definitely, if it's a quiet field or so, pff, I will dig them no matter what. If it's a busy, busy like like um, uh, like um, soil or so um, field, mm, not really. Uh, most likely I will go over them. Um, that being said, um, pretty much um, uh, the way I discriminate things and the way you should discriminate things, um, it's used using like the uh, um, uh, tone break on uh, accept, accept the reject, reject, right? So, um, pretty much like what, what the tone break does, it, it allows you to adjust um, um, like a, a range of different targets, just like I said, like um, Roman coins, let's say gold, um, hammies, um, silver coins, right? And um, um, And you will have like with 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 the with the pitches what what it does like you will you will you will be able actually to to separate the targets to know exactly more or less what you have there. So, for example, like Ferris will be like in being in low numbers, right? Like minus two, zero, one, or two. Uh, uh, you can adjust adjust those those tone breaks. So for me, for example, uh, uh, the tone breaks that I go will be like uh, in the first first one, which is like T two T one for example, right? That we use. I will set it up up to five, because sometimes you get like a like a small small hammy or so on six, this number. So whatever it's under, I kind of. I'm not quite interesting in it. I know people hit um, gold even on two or so, but I'm not quite interested in it. So my tones again, like are on five tone breaks are on five, obviously. So uh, the first one will be up to five. The second one will be up to ten. And like I said, like you might hit there like um, um, gold. You might hit um, Roman coins and so on. And I keep that in mind with the pitch up to 10, right? And uh, the third one will be just the one that it's specially made for gold, which is like from 10 to 13, which is like 11, 12, 13 inclusive. So my, my second one, the, the tone break the number three will be like 13, which takes me from two to third. Uh, to third. So two is 10. A third is like 13, so that's the range where my gold is, right? Especially 12 and 13. And you know, my tone break number four is the one that I, I just told you guys, like, um, it's where the goodies are. 
So the, the fourth, the fourth one, it, uh, uh, the fourth one, it's up to like twenty nine. Uh, that's where you get the coins. That's where you get everything that it's uh, it's good here in UK. So on the fourth, uh, on the fourth one, I will make sure that I will have like um, the highest volume, right here. Right? I will make sure that the tone pitch is the highest. So will 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 scream at me, and that's twenty five. And now we'll make sure that the tone break is up to 29, right? So the tone break will go like from 14 to 29. And I have all that, all those goodies there. Of course, like a big musket ball or so will be there, right? Um, so a big piece of lead or so, it's, it's going to be there. Um, an aluminium can is going to be there, obviously. But in the same time, all the goodies are there. And you want to make sure that you dig them. Of course, when it comes to that, the experience comes again in place because aluminum can, you know, like on the depth, you can you can kind of figure out with the depth, you can kind of figure out with the soil, you can kind of figure out if you move left and right, how huge is actually the target because the coin is going to be like somewhere in there, like within like a few inches. An aluminum can is going to take you like eight inches, sometimes even more, which is crazy. So... With experience, you kind of you're you're gonna figure out like what kind of targets actually you have there. But this is just like um, like this video I made it just just to give you an idea how to separate the targets, how to set up like the knocks in order to to hit the targets that you want. Of course, somebody else like might want to play a little bit with the numbers, or you know they want to hit something else, or so like they go for Roman. So obviously you're gonna you're gonna change the settings according to that. So if you want to go for Roman, it's obviously like the most important for you will be like to go from I would say from three to like fourteen. All right. So have that one like those numbers, those tone breaks. Uh, with a with a with a with a highest pitch and uh, uh, a highest volume, right? So if you have the, the, the highest volume, so you can hear it properly, and if you have the the highest pitch, will pop out the, the pitch will pop out those that those that range, right? And obviously, like for example, like when it comes to tone breaks, wherever it's above like twenty nine, which there are forty, uh, from twenty nine to forty. Uh, uh, that will be like on, on T5, right? And um, that's done automatically like in, in five tones. But pretty much that's how, I, that's how I do it. So like I said, like to cut it short, uh, gold comes in like 12 to 13, right? Depends on the depth, how many carats and so on. Um, and 